Wen Bing Tiao Bian, written by the Qing Dynasty physician Wu Tang, Chapter 2, Upper Jiao, Sections 65 to 67. 65. In cases of Yang Ming dryness syndrome, if it has not yet undergone heating, it presents as firm, but not yet warm. In such cases, one should employ methods that are sweet and warming for medication. If heating has already occurred, then bitter and cold methods should be used. A characteristic feature of Yang Ming dryness syndrome is fullness in the intestines. Based on experience, it is essential to apply two different methods, gentle warming and bitter cold medication, depending on the specific condition, to ensure effective treatment. For pulses that have not undergone heating, the pulse is typically short and tight, the complexion may appear bluish or yellow. In such cases, bitter and warm medications should be used, such as Jin Kue Da Huang Fu Z11 Xin Tang, or Xin Fang Tian Tai Wu Yao San, and so on. For pulses that have already undergone heating, the pulse is typically frequent and firm, the complexion may turn red, and the tongue may become yellow. Other symptoms should also be considered, and then one should employ the method of bitter and cold medication, such as formulas like San Cheng Qi. In the case of Xiao Cheng Qi, the use of Mangxing can be reduced, the dose of rhubarb can be slightly increased, or processed rhubarb soaked in alcohol can be added to make the medication slightly milder. Medication should be chosen based on the specific circumstances. Below is a treatment case. In a year of Bing Chen, I treated a friend named Che from Shanyin, who was already 55 years old. He had a hard, slightly painful lump on the left side of his navel and hadn't had a bowel movement for several tens of days. He had initially sought treatment from a surgeon, but the surgical approach did not prove effective. Upon examination, I found that the area around his navel was hard and cold, his complexion was bluish-yellow, and his pulse was short and constricted. Initially, he could still eat, but after several rounds of treatment, he could only tolerate rice gruel, and he hadn't had a bowel movement for 49 days. I believed that this was due to an obstruction of the intestines by Jin Qi, an excess of metal energy, because he had pre-existing liver stagnation, and the influence of the autumnal metal energy had aggravated the condition. Therefore, I administered two chin of Tian Tai Wu Yao San, a herbal formula, adding one chin of Ba Do Shuang Croton paste, and instructed him to take it with ginger-infused broth. This treatment was repeated for three cycles of seven days each. If there was no improvement after the first treatment, I would reduce the dosage of Ba Do Shuang. After three rounds of treatment, the patient finally passed 49 hard, black fecal masses, although they were very hard, they were ultimately broken down. Then, I used methods involving bitter warm and sweet spicy herbs to stabilize his condition. His appetite gradually returned, but he had gone without a bowel movement for another 15 days, so I continued with the same treatment approach. After the second treatment, the patient finally had a bowel movement, and this time he passed 15 hard, black fecal masses, which were still hard, but could be fragmented. Following this, I applied hot pepper oil massage to the hardened area, and continued internal administration of bitter warm and aromatic medicines. After a month of treatment, the condition completely improved. These two cases illustrate that Yang Ming dryness syndrome can be treated using a combination of gentle warming and bitter cold methods. The specific treatment approach should be determined based on the individual patient's condition. 66 In the case of dryness energy extending into the lower burner, pulsating within the blood components and forming such symptoms, whether in men or women, the Huizhen Hui Xing Dan can be used for treatment. For cases of significant external evil invasion with dryness symptoms, once infected, the treatment methods are similar to those of Shong Han disease, and adjustments should be made based on the severity of the condition. In addition to the aforementioned treatment principles, when chest and abdominal pain is present, consideration should be given. 
For cases that present both hernia and masses, it suggests the accumulation of dry yin in the meridians. In men, this may manifest as scrotal pain, while women may exhibit pronounced lower abdominal pain. Hernia and mass cases are frequently found in the cold wet door category. Symptoms such as malaria, diarrhea, vomiting, and others are often seen in the cold wet damp warm door. These situations involve the intrusion of minor evils into the lower burner, penetrating deep into the blood components, resulting in stubborn diseases. Without an understanding of the disease's characteristics, one might misapply a forceful approach, leading to further deterioration. Women, in particular, are more susceptible to dry yin diseases, which are challenging to treat, and physicians must take preventive measures. The treatment approach with Hua Jun Hui Xing Dan is to address dry yin internally, using bitter warm herbs in conjunction with sweet and pungent herbs and a bitter descent. The ingredients of this formula include San Gui, Jiao Jiang, Huang Jiang, Bai Shao, Shu Di, Yi Mu Kao, and Bi Jiu Jiao, among others. These ingredients tarnify Yang Qi, Yin Fluid, Yin Qi, eliminate dampness, tarnify liver Qi, and disperse masses. Simultaneously, aromatic components enter the meridians and clear accumulations. Furthermore, the use of vinegar processed rhubarb, Da Huang, is boiled three times into the affected area and does not harm other organs. This treatment is essential for patients with long standing indurations. It's important to note that while some may feel there are many ingredients in the medication, Attempting to use a small quantity of certain ingredients may weaken its effectiveness. Ancient physicians often said, for those with skillful prescriptions, they don't fear many ingredients. For those without skill, even a small number can lead to confusion. This highlights that the proper use of multiple ingredients under a systematic approach can enhance treatment efficacy. The formulation of Huajin Hui Xing Dan contains 36 ingredients in accordance with the number generated by Jin Qi. This formula can be used to treat situations where the problem is not pain, where there are pronounced pains, blood stagnation, dryness in women's blood disorder, left-sided chest pain with chills and fever, dysmenorrhea, premenstrual pain, abdominal pain from consuming cold foods, amenorrhea, dark purple clots during menstruation, lower back pain caused by falls, postpartum lower abdominal pain and dizziness, and in cases of gold rod and stick wounds with stagnation. The preparation of this formula involves grinding all components into a fine powder, boiling them three times with vinegar, and then drying them. Finally, combine bi jiu jiao with yi mu kao and add honey to form pellets. Each pellet weighs 1 qian 5 fen, approximately 5.4 grams. It is taken with yellow wine. This treatment is suitable for cases where there is no pain associated with induration. 67 for long-standing dryness energy that has not congealed into solid masses within the lower abdomen and is suitable for elderly individuals with weakness in the eight meridians. The use of Fu Xiong Dan is more appropriate than Hu Jin Hui Xing Dan. The nature of metal energy is inherently heavy and when it lingers for a prolonged period without dispersing, it must be treated by warming and opening the meridians. If the dryness energy has not formed solid masses and is characterized by pain with a visible form when active, but no form when the pain subsides, then it is less likely to harm the thriving blood. In such cases, Huajin Hui Xing Dan can be considered. The Fu Xiong Dan encompasses the principle of eliminating stubborn diseases and then promoting recovery. Therefore, the treatment approach combines tonifying and warming methods. While the use of tonifying and warming methods can produce short-term results, they are not suitable for long-term use, especially in elderly individuals with weakened eight meridians who require special protection for their yin essence. Therefore, it is preferable to use sulfur supplementing true yang without harming yin. Additionally, ingredients like lu rong, go chi zi, ren shen, yun fu ling, 
Kao Rong, and Nan Gui, Jin Dang Gui, Hui Xiong, Chuan Jiao Tan, Ji Gui Ban, Yi Mu Jiao, Shu Di Huang, and Bi Jiu Jiao are included to tarnify righteous qi. Simultaneously, herbs like Dang Gui, Hui Xiong, Jiao Chuan Jiao, Gui, Kao Gui, Ding Xiong, and others are used to unblock the Chong and Ren meridians and expel the evil qi from the liver and kidneys. In cases where stubborn conditions develop, men may exhibit qi shan, seven hernias, while women may exhibit jiu masses. Qi shan includes han shan, cold hernia, shui shan, water hernia, jin shan, tendon hernia, shui shan, blood hernia, qi shan, gas hernia, hu shan, fox hernia, and feng xing shan, maple hernia. Jiu refers to hernias in women. Later, medical practitioners classified these as Xi Xia snake mass, Ji Xia fat mass, Qing Xia green mass, Huang Xia yellow mass, Zhao Xia dry mass, Hu Xia fox mass, Xia Xia blood mass, and Bi Xia B mass, collectively referred to as the Ba Xia eight masses. Because the Ren meridian is the channel of the Tian Gui, heavenly essence, it is prone to accumulate tangible substances. Generally, Conditions with tangible fullness are suitable for the previous formula, while conditions with intangible deficiency are suitable for Huazhen Hui Xing Dan. It is important to note that situations like persistent gold diseases are typically detailed in the sections on warm and damp warm in the lower burner, as it's challenging to list every detail due to limited space. However, the provided information gives scholars a foundation to understand the basic treatment principles. The formulation of Fu Xiong Dan is as follows Wei Liao Huang Ten Fen, Lu Rong roasted with alcohol, 8 Fen, Go Qi Zi 6 Fen, Ren Shen 4 Fen, Yun Fu Ling 8 Fen, Kao Rong 8 Fen, and Nan Gui 4 Fen, Jin Dan Gui. Soaked in alcohol, 6 Fen, Hui Xiong 6 Fen, Soaked in alcohol and stir fried to black, Chuan Jiao Tan 3 to 6 fen, Ji Gui Ban 4 fen, Yi Mu Jiao larger quantity, Shu Di Huang 4 fen, Bi Jiu Jiao 2 fen, Di Huang 8 fen. Grind these ingredients into fine powder and boil them three times with vinegar, then air dry them. Finally, combine Bi Jiu Jiao with Yi Mu Jiao and add honey to form pellets each weighing 1.5 fen, approximately 5. 4 grams. It is taken with warm water on an empty stomach. Fu Xiong Dan can be used to treat cases where there is no pain associated with induration. It's important to reiterate that while some may find the number of ingredients excessive and may contemplate using a smaller quantity of certain components, this can diminish the effectiveness. Ancient physicians often said, an expert craftsman does not fear many ingredients, but an unskilled one can create chaos with just a few. This emphasizes that under a reasonable system, using a variety of ingredients enhances treatment effectiveness. This also underscores the necessity for scholars to be very clear when dealing with diseases and not neglect the ancient wisdom of the inner classic. This way, they can adhere to established norms. End of chapter 2